Okay, so I want to talk about these cards because these cards are essentially a dweller in synchro form. <laughs> And I was trying to find a way to implement them in, in the deck because tier is everywhere and we're well aware of how much tier struggles if they're facing a dweller. Their turn becomes so underwhelming. For those of you that don't know what this does, basically it says once per turn you can banish one flower card in monster from your graveyard. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent cannot activate effects of cards in the graveyard. Also, they cannot special summon monsters from the graveyard. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make her first to get into him, okay? And then this is gonna be in the graveyard and you're gonna banish her to fulfill that effect. The two cards in question, they're kind of wondering, what do you cut? What did you cut? Uh, this was recently added to the extra deck because of the free slot. Not too important, but I've grown fond of it. Like it's just so many sequences that it comes up. The fact that you can overtake the jet to the field and then tribute it for Stardust Trigger Trail without having to normal summon. Pits for jet, you know, like, and just start comboing off but i was thinking like oh this is a bit more worth it it seems because it completely shuts off tears main win condition and overwhelming aspect this one it's essentially the same thing in a way because this is lets you draw a card the moment it's synchro summoned the only drawback is you can't do the play where you have like overtake and stardust and then uh trail so then you would go um illumination Reduce trail by one, so it's level three. So you go overtake into junk. Start as charged with trail on junk. You get a token, you draw one. The start of synchron and the token that trail gave you make your speeder, you know? And then before that, you could have gone just summon overtake, jet, summon trail, go, go, go into speeder there, or go to into Excel, get a token. But I feel like, I think that this is worth considering because of how powerful and how impactful it can be. So I'm gonna be showing us how to do that now in the two different ways, the doppel route and the converter route. So you can be certain that if you open up with either combination, whether it be this or it be this, you can still get to these guys and still have a decent amount of interaction on top of draw power to hold them off to then finish off or try to capitalize the following turn. Junk doppel, right? You go speeder, chunk one, chunk two. Stardust, Junk, Jet. You use Stardust Effect, Search Illumination, Active Illumination, Send Trail. So this is gonna be very similar, okay? You make Librarian, then you make your Shaman. You typically make Crystal here, but this is where it's gonna differ from the standard combo. It's a bit riskier, but, so you're gonna go uh, Chain 1, Chain 2, Chain 3. You're gonna want to add off of the Jet to give you the extra body that you need to fulfill the specifications for those synchros because they, they both need two non-tuners and that's quite peculiar <laughs> so the other the, the other card would be trishula a similar case so you add converter and then you summon both and you draw a card and this is where you make so chain one chain two draw a card and then make Cupid. So it'll be chain one, chain two, chain three. Revive Stardust. You increase, because you're gonna utilize him as your Yazi. Draw a card. So it's just level six now, because you increase by two. Effect, chain one, chain two. Add Caligo, draw a Librarian. And then now, you're gonna go Effect, pop this. Yazi. And this is where you're gonna make the first one, your first flower cardian. Uh, effect reduced by one. Keep yourself a token. And this. Okay, so chain one, chain two. So you reveal the card. Draw a card. So you skip your next draw phase. Effect draw a card. Okay, so this has a pretty cool effect to where to fulfill requirements. She's gonna help us out a bit. Cause the other materials that you utilize can be treated as level two. So that's a bit easier, right? So what happens now is we're you gonna we're gonna use um memory's effect um two more times. Two. We can make these level two, okay? Effect draw a card. So then now you use the effect, you banish her, 
And then now they're completely locked from the graveyard. They can't activate any effects in the graveyard. They cannot special summon anything from the graveyard. That's so good. There was a, a concept I tried to do where I tried to get um, him in the EMZ and find a way to get this to the graveyard to give him protection similar to how we would do with Harold. Have Omega be present um, in their standby phase, return this to the graveyard, and hopefully he stays on board for us to do the effect again the following turn because he'll get protection from Cyber Sync Run. On our turn, we banish it again and lock them out again. You know, but in this combo, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so you banished and then you special summon since you control the art. Activate Cyber Sync Run. Tribute this off. Trigger Trail. And then this makes your Omega. Draw a card. Okay. You can draw one more card by going into Excel and then sending the junk to make Excel a level 2 and then you make Dragster. Or you can just keep Librarian on board, just have another volume so you can potentially use the following turn because they might not get rid of it. Illumination, you increase, you make Dragster. There. And then if you want to play around Super Poly, you just tag out now. Just, just tag out now. Because otherwise they'll be able to super poly you here. If you don't mind, you know, then just have a follow-up, have a better follow-up. Just return your trail, return your Stardust, depending on what, what it is that you might have drawn. Because depending on what you might have drawn, it allow you to, to, to finish up your combo and end on Crystal Wing as well. But yeah, so like right here, you could have ended on Crystal Wing as well. Just go into Junk, go Crystal Wing there. So you have your full board on top of they're completely locked out, which is insane. How crazy is that? That's insane! <laughs> you know, that's pretty cool. Okay, so the other combo is going to be Converter and Junk. It's not going to be as, as impressive, but it's going to have a similar objective, which is getting to those synchros just to hold tier limit off for you to capitalize the following turn. Okay. Go Speeder. Chain 1. Chain 2. Summon. Stardust, Junk, Jet, Stardust Effect, Active Illumination, Sunny Trail, you're going to use Illumination's effect, banish itself to target a Stardust monster you control and increase or reduce its level by 1, so you increase, you go Baron, activate Stardust, tributing one of the Junk Synchrons, uh, triggering your trail since the monster was tributed, and then you're gonna sink her into your Yazi. Summon Yazi. Uh, effective Baron. Target Yazi. Destroy it. Effective Yazi. Summon your Mirmir. The one you hate to draw. Um, you're gonna go ahead and use uh, Mirmir's effect twice. One, two. This is the only drawback is that you won't draw off Librarian to get to the Synchros just to lock your opponent out of the graveyard so they can't summon it off. These two. You make your first one. Uh, you effect, reveal, draw a card, you just keep your next draw phase, it's fine. Memories effect for the third time. In one, chain two. You'd add your converter. Summon your converter from grave. Summon. Summon. And the good thing about her is that you could apply her effect now as well. Make her level two and them two. But you don't have to go for that um, the the Borderfly guy. You can actually make her uh, facilitate a Marcher line or a Cupid line, which is pretty cool. Because you go make this in a in a double token of four, uh, two, and go Cupid. Or you can make a Herald, because you, you can easily make Herald. You go Herald here, you know. Um, but we're just going to facilitate the other one, okay? So, it's two. Go for your border. Activate border. Finish this, and this is where it's gonna be kind of a a bit a bit underwhelming because like this is gonna be there just not doing any not doing anything much you know, but it's just to completely shut them off of uh, the graveyard you know just to hold them off for a turn, um, and then just you could you could you could go for crystal here but then that plays in super poly, so why not just go into omega 
right? So they're completely locked out of the of the graveyard. They can't special. There's there's some applications where uh, against. Uh, nah, I don't think you would do that against Sprite because stopping an Elf Summon is not that that crazy. But like in tier, you know for a fact you have to go do that against tier because they just they just do so much. Um, but yeah, so then uh, during semi phase, you can return anything. You can return this, your trail. Uh, you still have your jet. Um, yeah, so you don't, you don't draw as much with the converted line like you did with the doppel, but doppel is just infinitely better. But yeah, it's still nonetheless. You still lock them out, and that's just a new combo that you can utilize now because tears everywhere. The Shizu cards are gonna be everywhere, and oh my goodness, it's just it's just so bad. <laughs> But anyways, that's gonna be it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching.